Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Big John TV. Foreign Food Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate the support. We are going back to the a different country. I saw this listed. Somebody, got, some one of you guys recommended it somewhat recently. Sorry, I can't remember who or where, when exactly. I'll look it up. Where are we going? To the Philippines. We're going to the Philippines. Great idea. We were in one of our favorite international markets recently, and we went Filipino food crazy. Basically, we just walked the aisle. Right. It was, it was hard picking. It was. Mm -hmm. So many different options. The the tags list what country the things are from. Yeah, because those three stores connected together. Three stores connected together. We're going to have to go and actually film there at one point. Ooh, that'd be fun. Because they got so much fun stuff to look at and food to eat. All right, I think let's, we have. before we get started, we, we did get some fan mail today. And guess what? It's not a box of food. What? But it's a book of food. <laughs> so this is Around the World in 450 <clears throat> Recipes. Delicious, authentic dishes from the world's best loved cuisines with step by step techniques and over 1,500 stunning photographs. Nice. Wow! This is so awesome. I've looked through it and it looks fantastic. This was from Eileen. Thank you very much. Yep. Super excited. Can't wait to try some things. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. And with that, let's get eating. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the noodles first and I'll go put them on the okay. oil. So, we found this, these were the two that jumped out with us the most. These are Lucky Me brand um this one is bulalo artificial beef bone marrow flavor instant noodle soup so that one is a soup Boom. and this one is instant pancit canton canton uh chow mein and this is a sweet and spicy same same brand Ew. same style just a little tiny packet well, of noodles so that one the first one will be soup this one will be noodles with no broth got it same i meant same style as like instant like oh, okay. dry noodle packets but pancit and noodle soup Totally different. These noodles should be thinner, smaller. Um, I think they're going to end up being the same noodles. You think? Yeah. All right. So we do have water just about ready. So, so we're going to go do that. Be right back. All right. The water's almost done. Jess is literally over there right now finishing things up. But this one, the Pancit, the Canton style Pancit, has a double liquid packet and a dry packet that you're supposed to pre mix in your plate. Or your bowl before you get going. And you change that drawer. Right. So that being said, uh, I don't know what either of these are. I have no idea what we're doing. This is totally different. So this one, ooh, that smells a little bit spicy, but not bad. Kind of hard to describe otherwise. But that looks kind of grody though. It kind of looks like that cheese stuff you'll get out of that, like, dip yes. in the crackers. Yes. Like a fun pack or... Yeah. Okay, and then this looks like a soy-style sauce. Black tar. It's soy sauce, oil, and special seasonings. Soy sauce, oil, and special seasonings. Is that what you said? Yep. That's what she said. All right, that was enough for that one. I'm not going to squeeze every last drop. That's too much work. And then I'll end up getting it on me. And a dry packet. Dry packet of nothing. And then I stir it around before you put the noodles on it. Close together. All right. So then, as you can see here, form a little paste in this in the bottom of the plate. And then one thing, when she brings back the noodles, we can mix it again. The hot noodles will go right on top, and then that oily sauce will get all melted in. And noodles have arrived. All right, All right noodles on. Aw, I just want to open And here's it. these in case you need them. Look, I'm like, it's like stir frying in the, at the table, see? It has dissolved up all that stuff. Cool, good deal. All right, we are all back together. Jess has hers ready, almost ready to go. So I'm gonna add the seasoning packet here. This one was cooked with precisely two cups of water. All right, um, can I take a bite here? What are yeah. you working on that? All right, I'm gonna do that. Well, I like this one, and it, it looks so cool because it looks like an earthquake and a volcano at the same time. An <laughs> earthquake and a volcano? At the same time. How is it? Good. Mm. There is a sweetness and there is a spice. It's not bad. It's not gonna burn you. 
but you know it's spicy. And this one's going to be super temperature hot. The flavor on that is delicious, though. Is it? Good. Yeah, what's that here? That's really good. So again, that was the Instant Pancit Canton Chow Mein Sweet and Spicy. All right, I'm going to try a little bit of this broth. Mm -hmm. This is the Bulalo, and this is a oh, beef marrow. It creeps up on Hold you. on, baby. <laughs> It's gonna be way too hot for you, bud. I know. Need a couple like ice cubes to just like. Pop. You want to try? It's probably gonna be too hot for you. You want a spoon? All right. Yeah. Let me see if I can't jump in just for a little bite of noodle at least. And while he's working on that, let's open something else, Jimmy. Splash me. How about the garlic oh, bread? We'll go with the soups. So this is Laura's brand garlic bread sticks, and they're literally like just slices of bread chopped up. It's hot. They have no, they have no good way of opening them, so I did bring scissors. Sorry, I don't need to open you, man. You want to try one, Jamie? You like croutons, and these totally remind me of long croutons. The flavor of that one is just as good as this one. Oh, you're not on the camera, but mm, that is a good one. Trade you. Trade me. Actually, I want to try some. Garlic bread, man. Yes. Look at these. There go there. So yeah, these I'm like garlic bread sticks. That's awesome. Oh, that does have a really good flavor. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You want to try some broth here? These are, these are weirdly sweet. They did have sugar listed in them. Let me blow it for you because yeah. I really don't want you to burn yourself. <clears throat> Pick something else, man. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I see this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so good. That is really good, right? Oh my gosh, I want to use these ones. All right, when it cools down, you can finish it. All right, man, tell them what you got there, dear. I got the boy boing. Cornic? Cornic. Cheese flavor. All right, basically Chili. these, basically these are, basically these are corn nuts. All right, Filipino style corn nuts. That was my interpretation. Yeah. We shall see. Here. No, I'm trying to yeah. Boom, done. Chili cheese flavor. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Those come out fast. Here, I'll eat this half of the pile. I'll just take one of them. Yeah, just take one of mine. That's right, a good idea. So there we go. Ooh. Those are pretty good. I thought it was going to be chili cheese, like American chili cheese. It's not. It's chili. Like peppers yeah. and cheese. So these are fried corn and a bunch of seasonings. These are delicious. I will. The flavor, In a moment. The flavor is a little bit weak. It is. But the crunch on these is. I was going to help you. Sorry. That's all right. I don't want any more. I like the texture of them. Totally different than American corn nuts. Yep. A lot lighter. Yeah. A lot airy. more airy. That's what I was going to say too. <laughs> delicious though. I like that. Excellent. All right, moving on. I grabbed these guys. These are Nutra Snack Pee Wee Sizzlin Barbecue Flavored Snacks. Of course, I'm going to grab the barbecue one. Now, I thought these are pork rinds, but I'm looking at the package, but they're not. They're wheat flour, cassava starch, and coconut oil. So I don't even know what they are. There's crunchies. Yeah. And while you open that one, I'm going to open these. These are. Oh, yeah. What these? Oh. They're giving it a little kick. They do have a, a little, little kick. All right, and these are Naga Raya. These are cracker nuts, and they are the adobo flavor. And a crunchy nutshell. Bet you can't stop at one. Enjoy this fun and filling treat that's perfect for individual snacks or parties. Okay. Enjoy the crunch, it says. Okay. All right, I got these up. Awesome they do ones. like look like pork rinds, though. They that's totally so weird. look like pork cracklings, pork Here. skins, whatever you want to call them. Over this way so we can see Barbecue it. flavor. Here we go. Mmm. I don't care what's good. Right? They remind me of the Mexican Doritos. Yeah. I see now you get them even in your mouth crunching them. You want them to be porky. But they're not. But the barbecue flavor makes them taste really meaty. Yes, they do. Alright, so you want to try these adobo crunchy nut cracker nut? Yep. Thank you. Alright. So these look like peanuts, but they're a little bit of an odd shape. Oh. 
Oh. They're super salty. There's peanuts inside of a crunchy shell, but it's savory. Oh my gosh. Mm. Adobo flavor, but I feel like it's kind of a weak adobo. I think it's actually an adobo. That. Not bad, flavor wise. Um, what, how, do, how would you describe an adobo? For me, kind of like a barbecue sauce. Yeah. Like slightly spicy. Let's get over to you. It's like a Filipino enchilada sauce. Kind of. <laughs> Comment down below if you know the exact, I mean, we could Google it, but adobo sauce. What is adobo? I like these. Yeah, they're not bad. They're not my favorite. Okay. Now this one was really weird. This one, borderline on funky. I have never in my life seen a bag of roasted watermelon seeds. Pump I spend all my time spitting them out. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, all those things are normal. But I've never ever seen some yeah. seeds. watermelon seeds that are at, like edible, ready to go. So the question will be: How, how do you eat them? them? How do you, do you eat, eat them? them like a sunflower seed? Although I know people who eat sunflower seeds fully, chew up the shell and right. everything. Mm -hmm. So that's actually how I used to eat sunflower seeds. I used to be like, mm -hmm. you see those? It's literally a bag of the sunflower or the watermelon seeds. Ready? Oh, what is that flavor? Anise a little. Excuse me, I choked on it. Anise a little. It's like five spice flavored. Watermelon seed and iodized salt. Really? The then the watermelon seed has its own flavor. I don't like these. Mm mm. I'm, I'm just chewing the whole thing. I didn't try to separate it, but I don't know. I need more. I don't. So this is the inside. Super tiny, kind of a waste. Pumpkin. A lot of work. It looks like pumpkin. Pumpkin seed. Inside that, it does, huh? That is so weird. That's why I don't like it. And these are huge seeds. I've never had a watermelon with seeds quite this big. That took a lot of chewing before I felt comfortable swallowing it. Mm -hmm. I don't like these. These are no go. They're not bad, but they're not good either. Yeah, yeah, I'm not they a fan. They have a weird seasoning on them. Not my favorite. Okay, right there, I actually taste watermelon. I feel like I taste watermelon right there. That's it's like so a bizarre. bit grassy. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm maybe. tasting that I thought was like anise -y. Yeah, totally weird. Watermelon seeds. Not my favorite. Okay, All right, so we're, going over to here. we're moving into the sweet side of the table right oh, now. We found it. All right. You guys open this one and Jamie will open this one. Okay. So I have Otap sugar biscuits. These are ube flavored. I need scissors. Ube being a purple yam. No, right here, buddy. Oh. Boom. There you go. Maybe. It's like folded over funny. A lot of this packaging is like super heavy duty. Like industrial print. Like, no, I don't want to get oh, any in my package. Oh, then I almost got it. So these are individually wrapped, but they're yeah. wrapped in like tissue paper. Oh, and there's two in each, oh, so we perfect. don't each need one. Then I'll put two back and we'll share those two that All are right, out. and then I'll talk about these. These are Buco Pandan Puto Seco Biscuit. Um, I have absolutely no idea what any of that means. They look like big giant like tablets they look like candies right or like some sort of dissolved dissolving like toilet tablet right. or something it's oh got cornstarch cane sugar margarine coconut milk eggs palm oil pandan flavoring which i think is young coconut oh uh, okay and blue and yellow food coloring so see I, that's why i love doing these kind of videos because you're walking through a grocery store and you see that and you go what the heck is that let's eat it right <laughs> so here's a here are the sugar biscuits these again these are ube flavored purple yam. Lots of sugar on the top. Oh. Very crispy. Can you get them, bud? Right here, right here. Ah. What's up? Come up this way. I'm not a fan. One, two. Careful, don't drop them. Yeah, I don't really like it. Cool. These would be good crumbled on top of ice cream. Did you try one of these, Oh, maybe like that I would like it. Dad and I. Thank you. So, this reminds me of a 
It reminds me of a stale fortune cookie. Hmm. I don't taste anything that's uh, that there's a sweetness in there, but it, it doesn't make me think of a, a of any product or any. The texture reminds me of the palmier cookies, the heart shaped ones. Okay. Yeah. Made out of like um, phyllo dough mm -hmm. type thing. You got, you're not trying these ones. It's good. It's sweet. So we'll move from purple food to green food. <laughs> yeah, purple green. These, these are bizarre <laughs> in color and shape. They right. look like they should be a pressed sugar. Right. But they're a biscuit. Are you trying one? Huh, I'm a you gotta eat one of the green ones. I did. I took a little lick. I don't like it. <laughs> I I took a little lick. Oh, those are very dry in your mouth. Oh. The cornstarch is super drying. Oh, that's. Oh, that's. That's like eating chalk. It's kind of like meringue texture. Maybe you could but, chalk it. Uh, maybe. But it's so dry in your mouth. But I feel like if you dipped it in anything, it would instantly dissolve. That's the one of the weirdest textured things ever. Like you glue, put the whole thing in your mouth? That glues your mouth together. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Put it all in my mouth. Yeah. Mm, the flavor is not bad. Just the texture is so flipping weird. Cornstarch is the first ingredient, and you can tell. Just said flip it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it, I mean. That, that's that's like the most bizarre thing I've eaten in a long time. So so powdery and dry. Okay, next up, Sir Norman Baker is the name of the brand. Torones Torones de Pinny Pig. No idea, but again, one of those things that I see it and I go, that looks interesting. So let's try it. It does say wheat flour and cane sugar, so I figured it was going to be a sweet one too. All right, and I picked these out because I'm actually hoping these will be delicious because I love tamarind. These are sweet tamarind. These are by Ailing Conching Native Products. The only ingredients here are tamarind fruit and cane sugar. Nice. Do you know what tamarind is? I don't really like tamarind. It's a pod that comes off of a tree, and it's got these big seeds in the middle, and you pull the seeds out and you use the pulp. Mm -hmm. In Mexico, they make a drink out of it, tamarindo. I like that. It's kind of tea-ish, but very tart. Mm -hmm. Tamarind is sour. In a moment. Mother. Okay, Matt. You have your shears? Again, these, these are wrapped in that tissue paper. Yep. Here, bud. Try just mine's a little, all cracked. Maybe just steal a piece from mom, because at first it's cracked. Yeah, here, mine's cracked. You can bite some. Yeah. It right. looks like um, fortune cookie. Mine is too. And I just killed it. See, mine's even cracked. I think the center's full of cornstarch again. It is. It's so weird looking. It's like super powdery. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Ah. What's it with the mouthful of powder? The cornstarch has got to stop. Ugh. Oh, I like it. Can you give me the scissors? You just like to play in it. This is not okay. The cornstarch in the middle of good stuff? No. Can't the, do it the outside's good and crunchy. I mean, right. And you get that weird powder. And then it like destroys. And you like the the Pyroline cookies, the ones that are rolled up. Mm -hmm. I love and those. And the outside reminds me of that. These are weird. These are so super weird. Look how crumbly Maddie's was. And look at Jamie's, it's like, like powder. You can't, you can't even fully open it. It'll be a mess all over the place. It's so weird. Yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of cornstarch. We, this, turned, this went from foreign to funky pretty quick here. And then I'll make it more funky by handing you a ball of tamarind and oh, sugar. Oh man, look at that table. Oh gosh. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Here you go. Thank you. This one's going to be gross. Uh, no, I love it. This so, looks like a prune. Once upon a time, I bought one of those candy push pop things at a Mexican market. And it was tamarind. But it was only tamarind. And now whenever I look for them, they're all mixed with chili powder. Yep. And I don't like the chili powder. See, I right. love chili powder. But I'm not a fan of tamarind. Oh, I, I was like expecting it to be like a gummy, and I bit down on it, and it's like, nope. Nope, that's not the flavor and I remember. Old. That was a bad idea. Why'd you make me do that? Do you want me to try it? Do it. I no. dare, I it's dare just you. sugar and nope. tamarind. No. Nope. And they look like balls of. <laughs> Looks like a prune. Tar. Prune. You know what it tastes like inside, too? To me, raisin. A little bit. Like earthy. Very earthy. 
Scoot over, Dean. You're off, bud. It's never. I'm never gonna find that same candy. It's so no. disappointing. Yeah. Not what I was expecting. Family candies. Those are odd. All right, Jamie. All right, Jamie. You got the last one. Open it up. So these are. Let mom talk about them real quick. Okay. Be Ooh, you are all dusty. Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. Okay. A freaking commercial. Comment down below what movie that's from. So this is Ovaltine malt candy. It's got these cute little kids on it. Um, Ovaltine tablet malt, chocolate flavored. You get nine of them. Have you ever had Ovaltine? I have not ever actually had I have. Ovaltine. I remember it when I was a kid, and it was good. It's like chocolate milk. Oh, that's what I thought, but it wasn't it's it like chocolate. healthier? I don't know about oh, that. Oh, you know what? There are little individual things inside. So, so why don't you and I share one, John? Okay. Malt candy. So they feel like little tablets just from feeling the outside. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, they're so cute and yeah, tiny. They're like little tablets. So you could take the whole pile. It's okay. Alright. Do they have I'm... different letters on them? I can't open mine. We're we'll just eat some of this. Just eat some out of this. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Oh, it's really dry and powdery again. Again. Really? Again with the texture. Oh, it landed. <clears throat> the flavor's fantastic. The flavor's good, but the Chocolate. texture is weird. It feels like the inside of a malt ball compressed. It's that's, soft yeah, that's when you get some of those messed up ones that are extra thick inside. Yeah, like moisture got to them, so yeah. they don't have the same crunch. That's bizarre. They're really hard at first, mm -hmm. and then the texture just goes to that powder again. Yeah. Great chocolate. It? These are like dried chalky, chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, chalk, chalk yeah. powder. What is go. it? Compressed <laughs> chalk powder flavored it. with chocolate. I got it out clean. Sort of. <laughs> what is it with the powdery, <laughs> chalky? It's actually chalk. Disgusting chalk. chalk. That's not but it really, tastes not great. Okay. But it it tastes has great. a great flavor. This is chalk. So, this is chalk. I'm gonna have to go with my favorite being the noodles. Noodles. Yes. Or the the crunchy. The corn ones. nuts. All the crunchy ones over there were good. All the savories. Everything salt. Everything sugary was funky. Yeah, the sweets yes. were very odd. Even these that are garlic, it's a garlic bread. Why are they sweet? That's have no um, You know, I never ended up trying those. This is a bad thing because I never tried that. It's too spicy for you. You won't you like, it. like it. Remember, I won't ever lie about spicy. See, those are weird. Good crunch, good flavor. Then why is it sweet? It's garlic bread. They're really dry too. Yeah, you need to dip them in stuff. Mm-hmm. But hey, you know what? Overall, a successful trip to the Philippines. These are still good. Jamie is just dying to get into yes. those noodles. As he's soon as waiting for them to cool. As soon as we say he's cut, real. he's eating noodles. Mm. Um, thanks for watching it. This was a great video. Good food. I think it's important to try. Yum, yum, and be yum. willing to try mm -hmm. and experiment. And the kids love it too, yeah? Yep. Yeah. All right. What are we going to say? I keep, I, hold on, hold on. No, I keep stepping on everyone's lines at the end of video. So guess what? Like, subscribe, and just friend. Before, after the video, in between, or any at some point, oh. if you want, if you like what you're watching, yeah, no pressure. Pressure. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Thanks for watching, guys. See you. Bye.